Alright, well, it's been a little while since I made one of these videos, um, but I figured, you know, since we're getting close to the end of this year, I may as well update you guys on what's been going on. Anyways, hope you guys had a great Christmas, um, I know I did if you saw the last two YouTube shorts that I did. Um, I also hope that you guys enjoyed my little uh, mini playthrough that I did on the Stanley Parable. Um, the reason I didn't, I, I mean, I, I know a lot of you guys already know the reason, but I just thought I'd clarify this just to those who weren't paying much attention. That walkthrough I decided to just record without commentary just because it didn't seem like the kind of game where I felt, felt like it needed commentary. Plus, I'm sure there could be tons of other videos where people could just do commentary on that game if they wanted to, but I decided not to. But, yeah, I just... Either way, I just hope you guys enjoyed that and a bunch of other random videos that I uploaded for the time being. Um, and I also want to say thank you to the 470 subscribers and to the almost 480 subscribers, because as of recording this video, I'm currently sitting at what I believe to be 400, uh, 479 subscribers. I mean, probably by the time this video gets uploaded, I hope I'm at 480. I mean, it would be awesome. I'm not, of course, all that concerned about the subscribers, to be honest, guys, but but that, of course, doesn't mean I, I, I don't want you guys to subscribe. I mean, if you guys are willing to do that, I mean, that, that'd be awesome. You know, that'd be much appreciated. But if not, you know, that's completely up to you. Anyways, um, I think it's time, though, that I got to the, the point of this update video. Um, a lot of stuff had happened over the last few years. Um, basically, I was originally planning on retiring from YouTube at the end of 2019 after part 21 of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. But the reason that didn't happen was because, well, I'll get into that reason here in a second, but let's let's just focus on the reason why I was retiring from YouTube and all that stuff. The reason I was re planning to retire from YouTube was because of this thing called COPPA. Some of you guys probably already know what it is by now. I don't really think there's a really any need to bother with the details since there's already tons of videos on the, on this website that already explain what COPPA is, so I'll just leave it to those YouTubers to do the explaining from there. Basically, for me, COPPA was one of the reasons, basically the main reason why I was retiring from YouTube. Yeah, I don't really, to be honest, I don't like making excuses, especially when it comes to um, why I haven't been uploading and stuff, because to be honest, I feel like I've done this too many times, where one moment I am actually uploading videos, next I'll stop uploading, then I go back to uploading and stuff like that, and it's just been kind of nothing but an off and on thing, and it, to be honest, it's just been getting really annoying having that happen, um, like having that going on and stuff, um, but I just, I don't know, I just, it's ridiculous that, that this has just been an occurring thing, and and honestly, I was, like I said, when I returned to YouTube the last time from recording Sonic Adventure and Mario Kart 64 and stuff like that back in 2019, I was really actually intending on just really sticking with YouTube during that time. I was willing to just continue doing videos, but then, yeah, when Coppa hit, it just made me feel like, okay, maybe YouTube just is not the place for me because I don't want to be having to take the risk of having to pay fines for stuff that goes on in my videos or because they're not marked in the right category and all that stuff. So that was part of the reason I retired myself from YouTube af after Ocarina of Time wasn't even actually finished. Um, but I did learn over time that Kappa wasn't really as bad. Well, not really that it was as bad. I mean, it is bad, but what I'm what I'm trying to say is I learned that COPPA, they weren't actually pulling off as many threats as they originally said they were going to. For, like, an instance, the fine thing, like, the fine where people have to pay money and stuff for, like, videos not being marked and stuff, they've already clarified and said they're not going to do that. But 
As far as I understand, what they are doing is that if a video isn't marked in the correct category, instead, they'll just mark it in the, in the right category themselves. So, say like, if any of my videos are marked as not made for kids, they could probably decide to just mark them as made for kids anyways. Um, which, to be clear, my channel, and this is something I think a lot of YouTubers like to do, my channel is a channel where it's more, I like to keep it as a more not made for kids type of channel because that's just how I want this channel to be as a not made for kids channel because for me I'm like over 21 years old now um, I was like 17 at the time when I first made this channel and since I'm already an adult now I don't really see the point honestly in keeping the channel as made for kids even though I do a bunch of Nintendo walkthroughs and stuff like that um, I still kind of like to keep this channel as a not made for kids type of channel Especially since there's one walkthrough that I actually recorded during COVID-19 that actually isn't even a Nintendo walkthrough at all. In fact, it's actually a rated M for Mature walkthrough. I'll get more into, the, into more of the walkthroughs and stuff like that here in a second. But I just wanted to point out that, yeah, with, with COVID, but yeah, with the whole COPPA thing, um, it, was, it was just ridiculous with the way things went with that. So you might be wondering, if I was retiring from YouTube because of COPPA, why did I decide to actually come back to YouTube? Well, or like, why am I making this video? Well, that's just it. COVID-19 ended up happening at the end of, um, I think it was... No, it happened at March of 2020, and things just went down during that year where I just wasn't able to nibble ugh, things went down that year where I wasn't able to live a normal life I wasn't able to hang out with friends and stuff and so yeah that just didn't really work out so good for me personally um so during the six months I tried to find some stuff to do um voice chatting on discord I guess you could say didn't work out so well during the first six months. I did eventually get back into that at the end of November 2021, um, as you guys know, but yeah, sadly, you know, some things happen in 2020 that I'm not gonna get into where, yeah, where I just had to take a break from voice chatting for basically over a year and stuff. Um, and even now, I'm actually having to take a break from voice chatting because of some stuff that I'm about to explain here in this video. So because I was having a hard time finding some stuff to do during COVID-19, the only other solution I could think of doing was actually recording more walkthroughs for this channel. That's right, I'm actually finishing up The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, the one walkthrough that I think some people were very disappointed in seeing me cancel when I retired myself from YouTube back. In 2019 so to all the people who wanted Ocarina of Time done well you're in for some luck because that's gonna be happening next year so that I'm gonna be getting that game done the videos are already recorded I just have to record the commentary um, and that was something I didn't felt like doing during COVID because yeah I just didn't felt like I could really just do that at all it was just too much for me to deal with at the time so yeah, there. So yeah, Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time and several other walkthroughs. I think like 20 walkthroughs basically were recorded during the coronavirus pandemic, and so you're going to be seeing a lot of walkthroughs being uploaded for from starting next year, possibly going into 2024. Honestly, I'm not really so great with the math, guys, but there are a lot of videos to go through, and so it's very likely that the walkthroughs that I've recorded are likely going to be going into 2024, so just keep that in mind that this channel will probably be extremely active starting next year. Videos will be uploaded at least by every two or three days at most, because um, that's just usually how I like it. I don't particularly like doing daily uploads at all, but if I do... I'll have like one day be me uploading a walkthrough and then next day will just be a random 
filler video, like a YouTube short or something like that. Whatever it is I can think of at, at any point like that. If I can find a good YouTube short to upload during that time, I'll do it. But if not, yeah. You'll just basically be seeing me recording walkthroughs most of next year. Um, and I know that the idea of recording YouTube shorts is like a new thing now. Um, it's like a new chance of trying to become famous on YouTube. And while I do like the idea, for me, it's like... For me, I want to carefully select the kind of short that I want to not only record, but the kind of YouTube short that, you know, will will attract a lot of audiences. The cat videos I did recently attracted over 1,000 views, which some people might say, is, which I know some people would say isn't a big deal, but for me, that's like a milestone since most of my regular videos that I upload, my walkthroughs and stuff, don't get that kind of views at all. And yeah, that's another thing to keep in mind with the walkthroughs. I know that they're probably not going to get the kind of views that they should get, but, you know, I'm willing to take the, the risk on that, you know. But at the same time, I will try my best to think of some YouTube shorts to upload if something comes to mind. If I can't find a YouTube short that comes to mind next year or anything like that, um, then that's fine. Um, I already have a YouTube short already planned for the 2nd of January after part 22 of Ocarina of Time. Um, it's mostly a re-upload from a, from a YouTube video that I uploaded way back in 2016. A video that was actually so funny that I thought, you know what, it needs to be uploaded as a short. There's just no way it should just stand as any regular YouTube video anymore. So yeah, that video will be getting will be coming out during that time between part 22 and 23 of Ocarina of Time. Uh, but yeah, that that's just something I do want you guys to keep in mind, though, is, yeah, YouTube Shorts, definitely gonna try to do something about that whenever I have the chance, or, or if I can think of one to upload, which I probably won't. The hard part about it is trying to keep the videos under a minute, because for me, I have a habit of wanting to just record videos for over a minute, but, you know, with YouTube Shorts, I know I have to keep the videos under a minute, so I'll try to make sure that that plays out well for when that does happen. Um, and yeah. Now, as far as the plans for, like, um, uh, retiring from... Or as far as the plans go for any walkthroughs after the 20 walkthroughs that I recorded during COVID, um, it's very likely that I'm probably going to retire from YouTube once um, all the walkthroughs I recorded have been uploaded because, um, because like, honestly, making a Making a living off of YouTube these days, I'm sure a lot of you guys already know that it's just not possible right now. But, depending on the amount of support that you guys are willing to give for this channel, maybe I will consider staying on YouTube. Maybe I'll consider doing YouTube full-time at some point, and maybe I might even consider getting myself a capture card once all the walkthroughs I uploaded are, are up. And again, that won't probably be happening until sometime after sometime within 2024, given the amount of footage that I have yet to go through. So, that's just something to kind of keep in mind. Um, but yeah, for me right now, though, yeah, I'm just keeping the idea of going back into retirement in mind. Just in case, like, you know, I upload all the walkthroughs and I'm still not able to make any sort of profit off of, off of this platform, so, yeah. I don't like to make it sound like all I care about is money. I really don't, um, because I, I know it sounds a bit wrong to think to say it like that. For right now, YouTube for me, for right now anyways, is just mostly about having fun, like just doing this platform for fun. Honestly, I do not expect myself to be able to start making money after, after 2023 or going into 2024. I really do not expect that to happen at all whatsoever if it happens honestly that would be awesome but if it doesn't oh well you know it's not it at least i you know at least i i did my best you know that's all that matters but yeah Finish. for right now that's just the plan for the most part is just retiring from youtube after 2024 
So yeah, I think one more thing to also kind of note too is that, um, yeah, so when you do start seeing the walkthroughs be uploaded, keep this in mind that the footage is definitely old footage from 2020, but the commentary you'll be hearing in that walk in those walkthroughs will be recently recorded audio, so just something to keep that in mind um, when you do see Ocarina of Time and several other walkthroughs, but I'm sure by now you guys probably already knew that already or figured that out, but anyways... Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next year, or I might end up uploading one more YouTube short before the end of this year if I actually think of one to upload, or find one that's actually even worth the time to record and upload. Anyways, take care guys, and I'll see you all next time.